I'm Barry, this is Mega City Gaming, and this is another unboxing, debugging, decloaking. Yeah. I have <clears throat> a terrible cold right now, so please excuse the gravelly voice. So I got this yesterday, this is from Warlord Games according to the label, <clears throat> the customs label on the top. And I know what this is, more or less. Although I did, as always, I added a little bit extra because Warlord do free shipping over, I think, £50 or so. So, <clears throat> that's where I get all my paint and supplies from. Because uh, free international shipping, especially to Japan is nothing to be sniffed at. Right, <clears throat> I've literally opened the box. Cut a knife, cut a knife away. And let's see what's in the box. Right, paper, we've got lots of paper. This will go in the cat litter tray. Right, <clears throat> got me a receipt. How much? Very reasonable. Right. As you can see, Strontian Dog. This is Wave 3. I got this on pre-order, but it's already out now because I, I was a bit late with that one for various reasons. So we've got Scum of the Universe, Bubo and the Bad Boys, and we got Mork Riders, Stront and Wolf on the morgue riders, morgue riders, right, and <clears throat> strontium dog wasters, okay, interesting, and some paints, <clears throat> <clears throat> so, excuse my uh, throat, we've got plague brown, which is Kind of a light brown, kind of like leather brown from Games Workshop back in the day, which I've just run out of, dried out. Uh, lime green, yeah, and what's this? Gory red, yeah. Again, I ran out of that dark red from GW, and what's this? Glorious gold. Yeah, because I needed a decent metallic gold colour <coughs> that wasn't kind of copper. Right. <clears throat> and they've been nicely shaken up by the postman. Thank you. That's great. Right, let's see. Where's my cutter knife? Right, let's see. We'll s let's do this one first, seeing as it's the most simple. <clears throat> right. There's no... That. There's no um, cards in this one. This is wasters, right? So there's no card in this one. We've got three bases, standard uh, Wall of Games bases. I do notice that these bases vary. Some of them have lips around the edge. Some of them don't. I'm not sure which one I prefer. I just prefer them all to be the same, to be honest. But I guess some of them are old and some of them are new. Um, <clears throat> So we got this one's. Oh, it looks like they're multi part. A couple of them have got arms missing. Right, this one is one piece. Guy with a uh, kind of a submachine gun -like looking thing. And the cap looks like an engineer kind of guy with a beard and all that. Kind of like a handyman mechanic kind of thing. This guy, he's got a futuristic cowboy helmet, helmet hat, as in it's hard, but it's also keeping the sun off. And he's got no hands because they're in there. And this guy, he's got a big American moustache and 
Yeah, he's got like a tank driver's hat and goggles. Yeah, these are cool actually, very nice sculpts. Right, I'm going to put these back in there because I don't want to lose the hands and stuff like that. <coughs> put them back in there. Right, next, scum of the universe, scum of the universe. <clears throat> right, I'm going to read the back while I'm doing this. Uh, where there are bounty hunters, there must, by definition, be those who have bounty placed on their heads. Often these are violent outlaws, criminals or psychopaths. One of Johnny Alpha's previous partners, Sniffer Martinez, was gunned down by Cancer on the planet Laz in Alpha's early days as an SD agent. Using the Halugin weapon he stole on Laz Kinsir, went to become the crime lord of the planet Metastis. <clears throat> Taking part in the ancient annual death rite known as the Killing on planet. <clears throat> right, let me see. This is the most. There's no vowels in this word whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna ruled. More commonly known as Zed, unsurprisingly. Johnny and Wolf cross paths with the android Steel Krieg, holding the two SD agents off in the bell tower. Using his flamethrower, he eventually meets his demise. <clears throat> A two faced mutant gang leader in the spy system, Billy Joe, forced Johnny into a duel with Lazwips. The outcome, a foregone conclusion, as the gang leader was the system's champion for the last 16 years. Actually, I, I read that like a few weeks ago. Again. So we've got Billy Joe, Kansu, and Steel Krieg. <clears throat> Billy Joe's the whip guy, Kansu is the big hairy guy, and then we've got, I, I'll say guy, they might be girls. And, uh, Steel Krieg is the person <clears throat> with the uh, or metallic type person, possibly a robot. <clears throat> right, anyway, let's pull it out. Oh, right, the cards are separate in this one. Right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, let's read a couple of cards first. Yeah. These are the stack cards. I do like these big stack cards. I'm going to have to get um, covers for these probably at some point. Right, we've got Billy Joe, Steel Creek, and Cancer. Right, Billy Joe, Notoriety 16, Cool of 4. They've all got Cool of 4 actually. Cancer's move is only 4 inches. Um, any other highlights? No. Looks like Billy Joe has a fight of four, but a shoot of two. So obviously Billy Joe's quite good at the uh, the whips. The Laz whip times two. Range three. No modifier. Minus one resist. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. Right. <clears throat> He's got the Brawler, Duelist, and Two-Faced special rules. Right, uh, Billy Joe has no backfire arc and counts as having a 360 front arc instead because he's got two faces. Of course, that makes perfect sense. <clears throat> Alright, let's read Cancer. Uh, anything special on that guy? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mind warp. Actually, Kansir has an alien. This is Halugin. Kansir has an alien mind weapon called the Halugin. Kansir often uses duplicate images of itself to confuse enemies, giving it a plus three bonus to evade by use. So, by using that skill. His evade becomes four, which is pretty good. 
<clears throat> when Kensier is the leader, draw one additional chicanery card. Right, okay. Steel Krieg. Uh, shape three, fight three, can't evade. Oh, resist five. Wow, that's really high. I guess it might be the armor. Right. Emergency protocol. Steel Krieg is capable of rapid and highly efficient self repairs. If Steel Krieg is injured and it uses the Hunger Down double action, it can potentially remove all of its injury markers if enough successes are rolled. Wow. Because <clears throat> Hunger Down usually only goes down to a minimum of one injury removed. Um, as in, you can remove all. all your injury markers, but except one, but he can remove all of them, or she. Right, that's amazing. <clears throat> oh, did we get any other cards in there? Yes, we did. Sorry, and we didn't look at the models. Yeah, I'm, I'm all excited to get these ones open. <clears throat> right, <clears throat> let's see what we got in here. Heat beam. Electro Flare, those are the armory cards, and the chicanery is Patient Hunter. Place a model on Overwatch, it does not lose Overwatch for snap shooting, but may only shoot once per enemy activation. So you can just stay on Overwatch, that's great. Um, <clears throat> Electro Flare, a weapon that temporarily incapac incapacitates enemies, see rules, page 41. Heat beam, remove up to three inch squares of terrain from table to what? That's cool. Wow, so you can remove terrain with this with this weapon. Interesting stuff. So if someone's hiding behind something, bzzz, that something disappears. <laughs> what a great idea. Right, <clears throat> and the models, of course. Don't forget the models. <clears throat> right, we got the big guy. He's kind of caught up in the whip. Yeah. Big guy can see her. Billy Joe. Obviously, his whips are separate, separate hands. And this guy's uh, or girl, his uh, Steel Krieg, has got separate arms too. But see the size. Yeah, he's pretty big. <coughs> right. I will be painting them up, and you'll see them on the table as well so looking at looking at blurry pictures of unpainted models yeah you're above that aren't you you're all above that you're above that you're too good for that nonsense <clears throat> what else we got so this is Bubo and the bad boys right let's read the look at the back first beep, 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 beep. so Bubo is the the entity with like the black stripe in his hair. <clears throat> so, raiding convoys and towns on the planet Alzir, the vicious alien outlaws known as Bubo and the Bad Boys left a trail of this devastation and terror in their wake. Right, I actually read this one recently too. So most of this <coughs> stuff currently available is uh, from the early Schrant stories so right we got a chicanery two armory cards chicanery is lightning charge play with a charge or sprint action the model moves the maximum distance without needing to roll the dice I see so, because normally you move and then you add a d6 or something like that. Uh, right. Thomo bomb. Infrared torch. Thomo bomb. A hit with the thermo bomb against a vehicle or robot inflicts a power eight attack. Other models are unaffected. Infrared torch. Play at the start of a scenario to automatically become the protagonist. I see. So that, that messes up with the um, the setup and all that during the setup stage. Right. <clears throat> Let's see what's on the character cards. <clears throat> doing this all out of order. 
So we've got two character cards because the bad boys are the same. And uh, we've got Bubo on Mork because I've got these models already but without the the Morks. <coughs> right, what do we got? Born to Ride. Actually, let's see if he's got any redeeming features. Yeah, not really. So he's got six inch move plus these six inches. Born to Ride, Bebo is a skilled mock rider and can always and always fights from the saddle. Let's see page 24. Right. Carnivore, the bad boys always need trail rations. Each enemy model subdued during a scenario grants Bubo a 10,000 credit bonus in the payoff. <clears throat> Zap the saps. In battle, Bubo's bad boys obey his orders without question. When Bubo activates, he can use a single action <coughs> to remove D3 action chips from bad boys within six inches and return those chips to the bag. Wow. That is pretty good. His cool is four. The bad boy's cool is three. Right. Minor characters they are. They've got Born to Ride as well. Okay. Right. No surprises there. And the models themselves. Let's get these morks on the table. Get them out. So we've got larger bases for these puppies. Yeah. That's one of my cats. That's one of my cats. Got a double layer of foam in this one. Right. Are these one piece? No, they ain't. Ain't. They ain't one piece. So it looks like the bad boys, their shooting arm is separate. And it's this guy. Right. Why is there only? It looks like there's an arm missing. It's not in there, is it? Nope. Unless it's on the base. Is it attached to a base? It's not attached to a base. Oh no, I am wrong, of course. Of course I'm wrong. <clears throat> He's got his arm reaching behind him to his uh, yeah he's got his gun in his hand that, that's why I'm getting all confused these two bad boys have separate arms yeah okay now I understand panic there didn't I panicked should know better warlord games are awesome <clears throat> right so let's have a size comparison between these guys and a standard infantry <coughs> human size, not mutant, which will be one of the wasters, I guess. A uh, guy with the goggles, there we go. So, significantly taller. Yeah. I'd say about two centimeters taller. Yeah. Right, there we go. That's uh, the Mork Riders, the Mork Riders, again I'm going to put these back into the box because I don't want to separate them from their arms because then I'll have to sort out whose arm goes with who, and the bases as well, ah the bases, <clears throat> next, Mork Riders, <clears throat> Johnny Alpha on Mork, Wolf, Wolf Sternhammer on Mork. So we've already got. This is the like the third version of of Wolf, uh, not Wolf. Second version of Wolf and third version of Johnny. I got Johnny with Electronux. I've got standard Johnny with the helmet. I've got Johnny on the uh, skimmer. And now I've got Johnny on the mark. So that's four Johnnies, four Johnnies and two Wolfs. Right. Uh, I won't read that because we know who Johnny is. So of course we do. Of course we do. Okay. <clears throat> Start with the chicanery cards. 
because I've just decided that's the system now. One chicanery, two chicanery, two chicanery and one armory. Okay, right. Chicanery, first one. Can I borrow that? Play when activating a model. They may use a weapon from a friendly model within three inches for the rest of the activation. Oh, I see. And there's a picture of of Johnny wielding Wolf's hammer. Right, that's cool. Counterattack. When an enemy model attacks one of yours in close combat, your model may make an attack first. I see. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and another medipack which I used in the last playthrough a couple of times, so we know what that does. Right. <clears throat> And <clears throat> the cards, the cards, the stack cards. We've got Wolf on Mork, Johnny on Mork. Right, so the stats look to be the same apart from their move, which is plus D6 inches. Uh, I'm just reading everything else is the same apart from mounted mork see page 24 and the same for wolf so basically they're the same model same stats the move is different and it's mounted and it doesn't even tell you what that does it just tells you it's page 24 which yeah i disapprove of page references but I can understand why because there's already a lot of information on that card so I forgive you warlord I forgive you again two round bases <coughs> big size and right this Johnny doesn't have yeah Johnny's got an arm missing Okay, Johnny's got an arm missing, his right arm which is his shooting arm, okay, let's see if it's anywhere else, Wolf is also missing part of his arm, that cannot be, tell me that cannot be, yeah, yeah it is, okay, that I think that was Becky. <laughs> yeah, that must have been Becky. Becky M. Becky M. <laughs> Sorry, mate. You uh, didn't give me my arms. Oh, no. Right, that's kind of delayed me a little bit getting these on the table. But all is forgiven, Warlord. All is forgiven. Sorry, Becky. Tell you what, and this is a warning to you out there. Um, these arms, I found them, they were stuck to the foam, I pulled the foam out, you know, and because they're all, you know, spiky and stuff, stuck to the foam, pulled the foam out, you know, anyway, sorry, I did get the arms, I did get the arms, all is for good, anyway, sorry, like, subscribe, comment below, cheers, bye.